Creative cocktails and distinct decor help make a party memorable. I've worked with some celebrities, put on events right before the shutdown. We did an event for Cynthia Erivo the night before the Oscars, honoring her for her two Oscar nominations, which is pretty impressive. I work with Fergie and Pitbull, creating events and doing stuff like that. Entertaining expert Paul Zahn says a backyard event doesn't need a Hollywood budget to stand out. Why not do some DIY projects to really set the tone with some decor? So we have some red, white, and blue decor here, and it's DIY. It's not only better for your wallet, it's better for the environment. And I know you have two kids. You can get them together, and you can create some fun things. Let's start off with upcycling some wine bottles. Now, over the past year, everybody's had some wine and right. drinks, so we have some <laughs> leftover wine bottles. So what you do is you just take some soap you scrub off the label and then you just take some spray paint that you have and you can spray paint it. The kids can also decorate for grandma and grandpa, put stickers on, they can write their names on them, something like that. So it's a time for the family to get together and create some fun decor. And then you just pop in some flowers. We sprayed them with some glitter and stuff like that. I thought these were fake Those because of real. the glitter. And again, these can also go home with grandma and grandpa. And another fun activity is doing these fun patriotic herb garden. So put the kids in the corner, get them some, some potting soil mm -hmm. and some fresh herbs, some spearmint, some basil, some peppermint, and have the kids put together these and they can be tablescapes for your dinner parties or you can send people home with them as gifts or show up as a host gift if you're going to a barbecue. All right, so in your expert opinion, are people ready to start entertaining again? I think people are start ready to start entertaining. I think people still want some distance, they want to be outside, and they want individual servings of different things. Paul suggests serving a signature drink to toast the return of happy gatherings. <laughs> Let's get go. festive. Let's get festive. <laughs> okay. What are we concocting today? What are we making? We're going to create a red, white, and blue cocktail. We are upcycling some mason jars, and we're also doing individual servings. This year, I think people are going to want individual servings, so batch up some cocktails in this mason jar, in a few mason jars, so that way people could just grab them, add some ice, and go. Oh, that is so clever and cute. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. Buckle up, kids. Buckle up. All right. So we are going to do one ounce of dark rum, like so, into the iced mason jar. It's rum, dark rum. Okay. Now we're going to do a half ounce of light rum. This is rum, too. Mm -hmm. Packs a punch. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to measure this one. We are okay. doing some cream of coconut, about a half ounce, like so. All right. And is this your personal recipe? Or this is this... my recipe. Oh. I made up a special recipe just for you. Oh, ooh. Uh, what are we calling this little thing? Well, we'll have to figure it yeah, out by okay. the end. All right. Then we are going to do about one ounce of pineapple juice, an ounce and a half oh. of coconut water, like so. And we are going to squeeze some lime into it. And then we're going to give it a good shake, you know, got to shake it up. There you go. Shake it, 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 shake it. Okay. Okay, so we have white now. Okay, see, we yes. have white. Yes, we do. Now, if you see there's some blue carousel in front yes, of you. Yes, I do. We are going to drizzle the blue carousel on top of our tropical drink like so to give it Ooh. that fun blue color. There we go. I love these little glasses you have here. This is so festive. Oh, oh and then, yeah, we have oh, to bring the red. We are going to bring the red with a strawberry on a stick that your guests can use to stir. And then we have some red and white paper straws, like so. Oh my God, my and friends voila. would be so impressed if they <laughs> came and saw that I did this. My goodness. Shana's pineapple runner. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Oh, yes. And Paul Zahn also says to get creative with the mason jars, they can be much more than just fun cocktail glasses. He suggests using jars for desserts like parfaits or even for single serving charcuterie, all kinds of options for DIY. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle.